Okay, welcome back. This is Marcia. Today's video, we're going to start a February journal, and it's going to be a three-ring binder. So we just finished up our altered book journal series, so you can catch that. I'll post it in the end card. This is the whole altered book series. I think there's 16 videos, so you will see a step-by-step, start-to-finish, how to alter a book. Very easy, very simple. It's just a no-brainer. Just find an old book that you love. Doesn't matter what the cover is, because you're going to cover it up. And so in this journal, journal, in this video today, we're going to take our basic supplies and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is Marsha. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. And if you would love to craft with me and sew with me and learn all different techniques of junk journaling with how I do it with my style, my personality, Southern girl, then just subscribe to the channel and sit back and enjoy. So here's the supplies you're going to need. <clears throat> I'll list them out, and then if you want to go grab your supplies and actually follow along and craft with me, that'd be great. You'll have a wonderful time doing it, and it's much easier when you do and get your supplies ready. So I took a cereal box, and I cut it down to 5 by 8, and I gessoed the side that had the print on it to give my surface um, ability to stick and glue and whatever I wanted to do with it which is going to be to just cover it with cardstock. So this is going to be um, a start to spring. So here in Florida, we always stay green. And so it's always inspiring with gardens and flowers and things like that. So I'm, I don't like drab and dreary. So I'm, I'm sticking to brights and colorful things. And so that's what I thought this I would do with this journal series. So this is all going to be happy, yellow, sunny, colors and it's just going to be beautiful. I have a color combination that I'm going with and it's going to be golds, white, yellow, creams, just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to combine all of these textures so that it just is going to absolutely be stunning. So we're going to work today on just the front and back cover and you're going to need one and a half inch uh, rings. You can purchase these um, online. I'm not sure if they have these at your craft store. I, it seems like I had to purchase these online, but I don't know. So you can go to Hobby Lobby, you just push it over, and then it's hard to do for me. <laughs> and then you can open it. Okay, that one's open, that one's open, which I'm only going to need one open today, but I might as well get them open. Oh, my simple. Actually, I will need all three. Okay, and then you will need a hole puncher. Okay, so I just used my We Are Memories Keeper eyelet setter, which has the hole punchers. Use the largest size setting, which is your 3 16 size. And then I just lined it up and measured it. And I'll give you the measurements on this. So from the top, you want to come down to approximately one and a half inches and then go down about four and a quarter inches from that next hole and then from that hole down you want to go down about two and a quarter so you have one and a half four and a quarter down and then six and a quarter okay so that would so that's five this way eight this way and then that's your three hole placement and then these will come in here and the beautiful thing about this type of a journal is it doesn't matter how much you've embellished the pages, your journal will not expand like this, like it did with my book. It will stay wonderful. So let me show you a prototype. And this was actually a gift given to me from one of my farm girl friends off of Mary Jane Farm Forum. So as you can see, the, these are two inch rings here but look at the pages one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen approximately sixteen pages okay so and look at here okay look at this now let me show you and these are these are embellished there's pockets in here there's little embellishments on here. She put a little notepad in here. Okay, all the pages are embellished. 
Now let me show you the difference of my altered book journal. Look at the difference. You see how it expands? I can't even shut this thing. I can't even put it, you know, closed. This, it will not close. Okay, and then how many pages did I do here? Let's count these. Okay, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, there's twenty-one pages here. So I will make this one with 21 pages, and let's see in the end, and we'll compare them side by side so that you can see the difference between when you do um, an altered book or just a regular junk journal that you make with a file folder or a book, and you cut the book and you make it and you put your signatures inside it as well. Okay, so we'll, we'll see the difference in the end. Let me put this back on the shelf. And I'm not saying I love all of my journals. My husband and I were just talking about that. And, and we were saying, you know, what are you going to do with all those journals? And I said, yeah, you know what? I'm beginning, beginning to be a journal hoarder here. Okay, so now we have the cereal box, some sort of thin cardboard. So if you want to use recycled, I'm sure you have a pasta box or a cereal box around the house. Cut it down to five by eight size. Go through and pick out your cardstock. Just go through it your scrapbook paper, pick out your colors that you want to work with, whatever theme, whatever color you want, your laces, your trims, um, all your kinds of, all those pretty embellishments. And then uh, we'll start with the cover today. So now if you want to pause the video, go grab all of those things and come back. That's the beauty of video. You can stop it and pause it. So I've already done a little bit on this. Let me take off what I... Um, isn't glued in place because I didn't want to do it all. I want to show you. Okay, so this was the back of the cereal box. I already covered the printed side with the paper here. So here's one piece. This is the yellow floral, obviously gold and white, and then I used this cute little lace uh, trim. This was a piece that came in the um, K and Company pack. I don't think these are even um, made anymore. Let's see. I'm not seeing what are. Okay, watercolor boutique is what this one is called. So there was this white, a pink, and a yellow. So I'm going to use the yellow over here on this page. All right. So let's finish up this page, and then we'll start over here on this other page. So I already made a pocket, and I took some beautiful handmade paper, and I cut a piece and tore off the corners because I didn't want it to be uh, the, having the sharp uh, edges. And this particular paper would not work in my corner rounder because it's handmade paper. It doesn't have that same texture and flexibility. So I had to tear it. It was very, very tough, um, but it, I did it. And then I took one of my clear pockets that I have and then I sewed it on the sewing machine. You can see the stitching back here. And then I have this other um, vintage brocade trim that I used. I had this leftover from the altered book. If you saw, watch that video. And then you saw that I used a piece of this on the front of that. Okay, so that was a pocket. So now the front of my cover is going to have a pocket. And then this charm tag that I made in another video a while ago with the keys that I made look vintage and rusted and, and aged. So this is going to hang off of one of those three ring binders. So it's going to be over here hanging off. So this is going to be absolutely just gorgeous already. I'm already in I'm already in love with the whole theme and the colors that I'm using. Absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do with this yellow trim here, and it has a little bit of white openness there. I'm going to put this down here on this part, so I'm just going to glue it in place. And yes, you can glue right on this plastic. And then this piece is going to go underneath it behind the cardstock. So isn't that pretty together? Okay, so let me pull up my chair. And we'll get to gluing. So this is going to be quick and easy, just front and back, gluing all this in place. So the first thing I need to do is let's glue this piece into place. So this is going to be a little bit tricky with this open 
weave. So I'm going to just come in here wherever I can get it onto the solid part. And I'm not worried about the rest of it. I just wanted to get these two corners for right now. This is all I really need just to hold it into place. And then I can work with it more later on. Okay, so let's just pretty much giving it equal spacing on both sides. And is, is, I'm really going to come in here and uh, just put a lot of embellishing on this front cover this time. But to get us started, it's just going to be a, a basic. And this Aileen's Tacky Glue is what I use, and it dries clear, so I don't have to worry about any of it that's oozing out right at the moment. Okay, so then now this piece I know I want here. I just have to see how much do I want just allowing from the bottom. Okay, so along three sides, all I need to do, well, no, I do need to, I have the clear pocket on there, so I can do the top. Because this paper is so delicate, I don't want to have it be going in and out behind that. I'm just going to leave that clear pocket. Somehow I've gotten some fuzz on that. Okay. to be careful because I wipe glue off of my fingers and then I make sure I have well, turn my napkin over so that when I'm rubbing on here I'm not rubbing glue back on it and I already used the circle punch and made the little divot in the top of this so here's the little slit right here already. Okay, so now this one here I want to be here. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it just so cheerful already? I mean, it's just absolutely, you know, and we need cheerful. We need cheerful. We need to come out of this, you know, 2020, and we need, we need cheerfulness going on in our lives. So I am going to put the sunshine in my life and with my projects. Absolutely loving every minute of it. And I have my second Zoom craft party coming up at the end of the month with my friends. I'm so excited about this. Absolutely loved the first one. I met some friends from all over the world. So if you would like to get in on this, then go over to my Instagram page and you can see the qualifications because you have to be referred by a friend of mine. So it has to be somebody that I'm friends with on my Instagram that I know, and then you get referred by them. So, but it's not hard, not difficult. So head on over there and check that out. Or host your own craft party with your friends on Zoom, but it's very easy to do. Okay, there we go. So that's looking really pretty. this corner here. There we go. And it was like it was a little going crooked. Okay, I like that. Let's see if I can... Yeah. That glues into place really fast. Okay, so there we have that. Isn't that beautiful? So we have a pocket here now and just already embellished. And now here's the three holes over here. So all I have to do which now I need to make sure I'm not going to, uh, let's see, <laughs> yep, I'm going to have to realign those holes because that middle hole is right on the trim. I did not see that. Okay, this one can come up here. I'm lining it up from the back here on this one. Okay. 
All right, the top one and the bottom one. So that'll keep that in mind when you're doing yours because I didn't think about that when I was doing that side piece. That not lost. All is not lost. It just means I have to adjust the middle hole, but the top hole and the bottom hole were still good. Okay, so let me just turn it over here so you can see. Now I'm going to just line it up. to see how far am I out of alignment over here. Okay. All right, I see where I'm at. Okay. I think, yeah, okay. All right, let's give it a whirl. I have just enough room right there. See how far in it is here, but that should be fine. Not a problem. But just keep that in mind. So I would recommend punch your hole once you put the paper on top. Then that will give you your alignment with your decorations. So I should have made this pocket a little bit shorter, but it all worked out perfectly. So I'm, I'm saved. I'm good. All right, let's just get this wiped up here. This is moving on me when I was punching it, so I don't want that glue to go all the way up there. Don't want it to come out the top. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, doing good. Very nice. All right, so there's the cover. Isn't that pretty? And then I can just keep putting it on and it'll be perfectly fine. 20, 21 pages. We're going to make 21 pages with this. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So. 21 videos. Be on the lookout. All right, so now let's work on the second page. Move this over. Put this one over here. These are the two colors I've already chosen. And since this is the back cover, this I'm going to leave the cardboard on the back, but I will, I'm going to cover it too in a minute. So we're going to cover both sides. Okay, so I want to do this. Okay. Use your pencil, trace around the cover, and then you can just cut it out right on that pencil line. Cut right up at the bottom edge and at the outside edge. This is double-sided paper. This was from stamping up, but it's retired. I did make a whole cash envelope system wallet set and envelopes and pouch out of it. So if you're interested, it's in my Etsy shop, Markets of Sunshine, which will be in the description below. So if you like flowers and the daisies, then this is definitely print for you. Okay, somehow, how did I do that? Let's see. Wait a minute before I said it. I thought I laid these okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. How is that not lining up? It's lined up. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do is use this yellow trim and it's going to go straight down the middle of those. So let's just turn these over and then glue them in place. And all I need to do is glue this whole board and then we're going to come in with our paintbrush and smooth it all out. I think half of the fun is picking out all of the colors and materials that you're going to use and then the other half is actually putting it together and seeing it come to life and then how beautiful everything looks together and how pretty just absolutely is amazing and then you can feel so proud of yourself that you made that. And there's one of a kind, there's no one else that has it. So that's why I love taking and making my originals and not copying what somebody else has done. Just making it my own. This is like a beehive pattern. So I picked out papers that were nature and flowers, which I seem to have a lot of that in my stash. So I apparently am a very flower person. <laughs> I like a lot of flowers. There's that. Quick and easy. Very nice. I seem to be using a lot of paper towels today. Very messy job. Blue everywhere. Okay, let's just come right down the middle on this one and put our trim. And this already has adhesive on the back of it, so all I need to do is peel this off. k and Company has very nice products. Very good quality. Trim it off right down here. Worked out perfect. Right at the bottom of that greenery. And I have a 10% off sale right now in my both of my Etsy shops on select sections of the shop. Here's the front cover. Here is the inside of the back cover. So now this is the outside, so I'll put something on it. And then this will be the inside, we'll put something on that. So let's turn them over. I'll let this one dry. So while this one's drying, let's work on this one because this one's had some opportunity to dry. So let me get a drink. Okay, let's look through the stash. Thinking I'm going to incorporate. I had a big sheet of this gold left. 
don't know. I might incorporate. I might incorporate that. Let's see. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, so we have this piece will be here, and then the gold will be in the center. All right, let me just cut this because this is too short. All right, let me make sure before I cut that. Yeah, we'll be good. And what's nice about lined paper is that you can get cut it right on the line. Okay, so now let me see. Just moving this one over so that I can measure that one easier. Lay these here and then lay this one here. onto it, turn it over, and draw the line. And I'll do the same thing, just glue the whole page. Okay, so this one's going to be in the center. And then this one will be here. And this one will be here. Doesn't really matter which the placement, but... making sure I'm covering up the cardboard. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Doesn't that look pretty together? And then what I'll do, again, is make sure <laughs> it's going to be a little bit, which I'll see the holes now from the front, covering them up from the back. Cardboard might absorb a little bit more of the glue since I didn't have gesso, but we'll see. Just want to smooth out the glue. Make sure I'm getting it to the edges. That's the most important part, is your edges need to have plenty of glue. The center is not so much of an issue, but the edges are definitely important. I'm getting it smooth and that makes it look so nice. Definitely see the cardboard absorbing this. Start with this daisy print. Okay. 
And if you would ever like me to make you a journal, then you can always place an order through my Etsy shop. More than happy to make journals for you. And you can give me a budget, and then I can make the journal according to your budget. So, that's not a problem either. But right now I have journals in my shop that are only $20, which is very affordable. That's my starting point price. Okay, good, good, good. This needs a trim up right here, just a smidgen. Perfect. Okay, happy with that. And now you can see because of the glue, woohoo! It's starting to curl, so I'll just place a heavy book on this, and then that will let it dry without having that bow. Glue everywhere. So here's the front cover, front and back. Very pretty. And I'll come in here and put a pocket on this later on. So that one looks really nice. Bring this one back over. So I'll lay him over here. Okay. Lay it on some wax paper. Okay, now turn this one over. So this is going to, the same thing is going to happen. It's going to start to bow. Before I, before I do that, let me get my hole puncher and let's punch the holes, that glue, hopefully. I don't want to gum up my puncher. Got some glue right there. Came through. Let's see. Okay. Now, all right. So I need to have that open so when I'm putting it over here, I won't have to worry about that. Now let's see what we want to do on this side. Let me make sure there's no wet glue there. We're good. Okay, so we have just the two there. I had a little bit of this yellow left, but I don't know if it's big enough. Let's see what I have. Okay, so I've got this in a different format. Okay. So we'll do it in this pattern, and then I'll come down here with a strip. Okay, I think I'll do that. Alright, that's good. I like that. Okay, so now we'll just take this one, use it as a template. Trim right off of that, putting my scissors right up to the edge. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other. Put the gold in the middle. And now we we'll take this and we can put it here. So what I'm going to do is I'll glue all of this first and then I'll put my strip and then I can just cut down the side. Same process, put your glue. I 
I leave a little water on the brush because that helps move the glue easier. Because this tacky glue is very thick and it's not very smooth moving. So you need to put the water and then that gives you that fluidity that you need. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel and you enjoy crafting with me, you like my ideas and my layout, my techniques and what you see, how I do things, because we all think differently. We can learn from everyone's channel. I know that seasoned crafters on YouTube come and watch my channel and they get lots of ideas from me. So I see them using my ideas. And that's it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. I really like it. So we learn from each other. Okay. So it really doesn't matter, but I think I want this up here at the top. Which way and which one goes first? Okay, I just need to... Go ahead and trim off this little bit down here. Uh, yep, I think I will before I put the other. If you get glue on your scissors, just make sure you wipe them off. Otherwise, especially, okay, I have a spring on this. If it starts to catch and it's not um, bouncing back like it should, then I know I've got to clean the, the blades because the glue has gotten gumming it up. Usually I'll just take some alcohol and come in and clean it up. Now I want to take this one and I'm going to just lay it right on top of this. And this glue really dries quick, especially on this, because I'm just trying to move it and it is not budging, so it really does dry quick. Okay, come across here first. Okay, so now here's our back cover and our front cover. So all I need to do is let these dry thoroughly, put the wax paper on top, put the heavy books overnight, and it will straighten them back up. That's all you need to do. Very, very quick and easy. It's not, doesn't take very long. So let me go ahead and punch these holes.
must have a little bit of glue because it's not wanting to come out of there. Yep. <laughs> I'll come in here with a Q-tip. Let's see if I can get it with the... Okay, that's pretty good. Very good. Okay, so once again, there we have it. Beautiful, quick and easy, sunny, cheerful, three ring binder, journal cover, front and back. Okay. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along in the series of making our three ring binder journal, then come back and we'll show you what we're going to do with the next pages and how we're going to make the inside pages. So thank you so much again for being here with me today, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.